hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we're going to work on a very unique form which belongs to oscar niemeyer it's alorado palace in brazil and we're going to learn how we can model it in revit so let's start as you know this project has a modern style so we don't have that much detail in here i modeled these curtain balls all around the project and also its floor and its roof and now we are going to model the main form go to architecture tab and open a new model in place before we start let me show you the sketch of this project as you can see here it's kind of a star shaped form and since we want to model it accurately we need to divide it into four parts first we are going to create and model this part and then we can figure out the other parts so i'm going to import this image from the front view of this building to one of my elevation let's go to north view and just drag your picture to this view here and then i'm going to move it to this part since we can't see it i'm going to put my view on wireframe and then i will move it to the kind of right place to here and with this scale option i'm going to make it bigger to the real size now move it to the side like this and create a new extrusion. Set your work plan on this part here and start drawing your main lines like this and in here. Now I'm going to trim these two lines. Then I'm going to draw a line with like 5 or 8 centimeter length in this part you can go for 10 too and another one in this part for exactly 5 centimeter for this part i'm going to use this sp line and i'm going to first click on here then in this part another one here here in this part and in here then i'm going to use them like this to fix it place okay now you can hit finish and go to 3d view i'm going to set its extrusion on 50 or 60 centimeter like this and now you can hit finish now for creating that curve in these parts we need to use this void in void revolve and we need to make a very huge sphere so i'm going to set my work plan on this on this face actually it doesn't matter because we are going to move it anyway and then i'm going to draw my axis in here and then i will use this start end radius for a very big circle and then i'm going to close it with a line i think if we make it bigger it will be much better something like this now let's move this to here and go to top view as you can see we can only move this on this axis line on this work plan that we had created so if you want to move it freely you need to copy this to a place like here then it will lost its work plan and you can move it freely to wherever you want you can delete this part and work with this void i'm going to move it to here first somewhere here and then i'm going to set its place from this top view now if you want to cut them from together you need to click on this cut and then your form and then this void let's look at it from this view perfect i think this is exactly what we needed now we are going to go to front view to here and then we can select these two and mirror them exactly on this part and then i'm going to select this part and this void i hope i'm using the right void and then i'm going to mirror them to here i'm going to select my form and go to edit extrusion i'm going to delete this line and move this 
8 centimeter line up to here and make it a smaller then i'm going to use this sp line again from this part to here to here and at the end to this now you can hit finish and if you go to 3d view you can see your form perfectly like this select them both this form and also this void and mirror them to the other side now our form is complete if you want to have more curves you just simply need to increase your extrusion and play with those voids a bit more to find the perfect place for them now i'm going to select it and move it to this part then i'm going to create a copy of this for here and for the first part we need to delete half of it so i'm going to delete this part and here okay and move it to exactly this point these forms need to be under this roof so i'm going to make this part a little bit smaller and then we need to go to their edit in place and select them and then change the edit work plan but instead of doing this because if we do this we need to move these voids too i'm going to copy them and then i can move them easily like this move this closer exactly to here and then use this array on linear set it on move to second one and click on this part and then here exactly on this point and set a number to for example 8 like this now if you increase it to 12 you can fill all the place and for the last part you can just mirror this on one of your elevations to this part and then you can fix it easily like this i couldn't find the exact size of this building so i modeled it from picture as you saw so it's very normal to face this kind of problems in here since it was a curtain wall you can just simply move it closer to this part i'm going to change their material real quick to conquer it and i'm going to just give them a white color like this and this is our final look the other side of this building is exactly like this and if you want you can copy them there too because this is a very simple and unique form you can take a beautiful renders of this so take it to inkscape add lighting and material to it try to export a realistic render of it so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye